I'm going to show you how to do the Freya's missing piece uh, side quest in God of War Ragnarok. So in order to do this, you have to go to Vanheim. I'm not sure if you can do this the first time. I know you, know, you probably have to do this the second time. You come here the second time, you get this tool so you can activate celestial altars. You have to activate the celestial altar to make it daytime, which will let you go down the river Delta, Delta and Pilgrim's Landing and all this. And then you can all the, get all the way around to here to the cliffside ruins, which you'll be able to land right here. Now from here, you'll need to get this chain to come down, which I've already done. And the way you're supposed to, there's actually two ways to do it, but the way you're supposed to do it is to climb up here. And then once you're up here, you're going to come over to this left area. You're going to jump across this, jump across this, jump across this. And then you're going to use sigil arrows like this, probably. One, two, three. I didn't do it this way myself, so not 100% sure on this, but put two there maybe and then put like three right here yeah and then activate that and then that will burn down the vines then you can kick down this for a shortcut and then get down then you can come over to here and you can climb up this once you get up here you can activate a runic altar i don't know if that's what they're called or not you can activate this altar thing and that lets you get to the next part of this but i'll show you really fast uh, i've already done it I don't I think I've already done this. Maybe I haven't done it on the save file yet. Actually good, I haven't done the save file yet. Or I have. Never mind, I did. Okay. I use that and then you look up the distance press square, I think, and then all the rocks disappear and it opens up this passage. So now we need to get back to the boats and uh once you, okay, let me just let me just go back to the boats actually. So you go back to the boats and then from the boats, uh be careful not to miss this river, because the first time I did it, I was like, What how do I get there? I didn't realize there was an obvious river like right in front of me. So when you get back on the boats, you're going to hang a right and you'll go under this drawbridge that will be up instead of down. On my game, it's already already brought it down, but right here is where you're going to go. And this will lead you over to uh, where you need to go. So the closer we get, I'm actually, I guess I'm not going to skip it. You, if, if, you, if, if this is really boring, just move your mouse down onto the timeline and skip ahead like 10 seconds. But I should be there in like 10 seconds. So we go over to here. We were happy once. All right. Now we've time, discovered Goddess Falls. So you get here and you've got to fight Perhaps these enemies. Uh, I'm going to skip fighting these enemies because that's going to take like 30 seconds. Let me just skip through this in, in the video editing. Okay. Once they are all dead, you're going to climb up to here. This will wrap around to the right and then up. Okay, so once you're over here, you're going to jump across this, and then you're going to climb up right here next. Now, now we're getting to the fun part. Not really, but the part that is kind of a pain in the ass. So you get up here, and first off, there's a Nornir chest here. I'm not, I'll show you where the three things are real fast, but I'll show, if you want to know exactly how to do it, just check the links in the description of this video for, I have like a video specifically on how to solve the puzzle. It's pretty straightforward though. One over there. One up there, and one there, and you have to use sigil arrows, but one of them, all three of them are a pain in the ass to try to get. Anyway, we're going to go over to this wall right here. So, give you a reference point. I got up right there, walk straight over to this, press square on this wall, and now we get to the very puzzle part of this quest. So, I never thought I'd come back here. now it's going to take a little bit more effort. So, we're going to go into here. Um, I guess I'm going to fight. Yeah, you have to fight this because there's a boss right here. So for this guy, it's easiest to use the spear if you have it, or any ranged weapon. It's unstable. Get back. Okay, so once he's down, pull out your strongest weapon, beat him up until you see the red bar come down. Got my top way too loud. Okay, and then press R3 the last second. Do a bunch of heavy attacks. Okay, and then you just do that at least one more time. It depends how strong your weapons are, really. Also, I shouldn't get close like that. If I get close, it makes him want to close his, his chest. I was going to throw spears until he opens up. Okay, there we go. I probably don't have to do it. I probably just normal attack to finish him. He's so weak. Okay. Finish off this enemy. 
I don't even know if there's another one or not, but we're gonna go over here now. So we're gonna use sigil arrows right here. Just throw down like three of them right here. And then just do a heavy attack like right here maybe. All right, that gets rid of that. That lets us pull out our axes. Hit that with an ax. Okay. And then we're gonna go over to here. And we're going to hit that with an ax. That brings down this bridge. Now you can go over here. And a lot of these enemies I think are skippable. So we're just, we're just gonna go through this. Um, I don't think we actually have to fight any of this. We just run straight through, take a right. Oh, never mind. You do have to kill them. I'm gonna skip me killing them. Okay, after you kill those, then you're out of combat to let you activate this. You can go up into here, and there's My another son. fight that you're gonna have to do, I think. Go yeah. By the balcony. So, uh. Remove these creatures first. Yeah, now you gotta you got do this fight first. These guys use arrows on them, and that makes it so you can then hit them normally, and then you just beat the hell out of them. But I'm just gonna skip me fighting them. After they're dead, Freya will walk over here. You go over here, and in a moment, a contextual thing will pop up. Once she's done with the animation, press the triangle by default. You're on PlayStation, which is right now when I made this video, everyone was on PlayStation. And then there's some dialogue. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. Okay. Go over here. Use a sigil and fire. Then you go over here and activate this shortcut to get down faster. We're going to climb down now. You still can't, even though, oh wait, nope, 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 nope. There's one more thing I forgot we was supposed to do. We're supposed to go up here and go to this door. Totally forgot about this part. Although I might have, I might have like soft locked myself here. I'm going to skip ahead and see if I can get her to get over here again. Okay, so she eventually walked back. It took her a good 30 seconds, but she's back. Uh, you're supposed to do this right afterwards, I forgot, so you don't want to rush out just yet. She'll actually walk over here on her own if you don't do anything. Uh, then you activate this, which will pop up some words over there on the right. She'll say, can't here. read from here. Let's and then as back. soon as it lets you move, you just go ahead and keep moving. Now we go where I was going. I'd feel peace by breaking it. We're going to go down this, and now we need to go to the other side. Now, the other side is a little confusing, but once you understand what's going on, it's actually not bad at all. So, I'm going to try to ignore those guys. Protect just yourself. right in the middle, you fire a triple sigil arrow. And then just activate it like that. And that'll let you in. Now, we're in. We can go into here. Go around to here. And now, this room, you actually just have to ignore it. Because the, there's a guy making him invincible. And he's over in here. So, we're going to go into here. Kill this guy first before anything else. And then clear out the rest of the room, which I'm going to skip because these guys are level 7. It's going to take a moment to clear out the room. All right, once you clear out the room, you go to the northern side. And again, just like the other side, he's going to pick up this goblet thing. Got to wait for the contextual menu to pop up. There we go. Press triangle. A symbol of reconciliation. And now after this, you just got to wait it out for a little bit here. She's going to do some dialogue. And then once she's all nostalgic out, we can uh, have her open up the door we need. We drank from the lover's chalice until okay, so now I'm just going to stand by here and wait for her to walk over here. She'll clear out these vines for us. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freya. That's some lore for you. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed. RP walks over and opens the door. Okay, and then we can activate this. The word is complete, but I still can't read it. Alright, so now we just need to get back down. Back and this down. one, unfortunately, there's not a shortcut. You actually have to painstakingly just run back. Kinda sucks. Better not. But now that you've killed the enemy that was invincible in the set in the first room here, well, you can I loot that chest free. if you would like to. I'm not going to waste your time with what me looting the chest. And there's a lore right there if you want to grab it. Okay, so now we're going to head back out here. 
if there's any enemies out here, you'll probably have to clear them before you can read that. I'm going to see, though, double check, but I don't think I can read this while there's enemies around. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so you have to clear out any enemies that respawn. Okay. Now you can go over to this. He'll say some magic words, and then you can run across. Uh, there's also this right here if you want it. Put this battle. You will not. Are you ready? The lower scroll. And we do this. Act on that. And then open it up. Which it just opens up on its own after the first interaction. There it is. Okay. And now there's a cutscene. And I'm going to just let this play out. So you can see it. And then we're actually not done with the quest. There's actually more after this too. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. I bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy, but it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. Okay, so that gives you Mardal, a new sword for Freya. So you go weapons over here, sword by pressing R1, and it is it gives inflicts enemies with Bifrost instead of stun. Now I personally prefer the stun probably, but maybe maybe Bifrost better. I don't know. Uh, you also get Steel Harmony and Regal Veneer Garments. I suppose it's on to the. Next anyway, we're gonna head back out because there's more yes. things we gotta do. Not much, but we gotta do some more stuff. The quest actually is not done. And very disappointingly, there's no way gate here, so you have to actually run back. So first thing is you gotta fight these two wolf wolvens or whatever they're called. I'm gonna skip this fight so you don't have to watch it. Okay, so once they're dead, you are going to head back the way you came. You actually have to kill them because this door closes, and you can't do any interactions while in combat. So, but we're still not done. There's actually another quest objective here. So we're going to uh, go over here to the left, actually. Jump down right here. Jump down right here. 
And when you go to get on the boat, I'm afraid I'll never know something fun happens. And there is a Drecky. Two Dreckies, actually. And you have to fight two Dreckies at the same time, which for this part of the game would be rough, but I came here back here later. But I'm going to skip this boss fight. But yeah, you have to beat both these Dreckies before you can complete the quest. Okay, so once you defeat the Dreckies, you get to use your new sword if you've not equipped. Uh, you kill two Dreckies, loot the two Dreckies. There's a little bit of dialogue. Uh, but you have to grab the whole lag. I cannot resist grabbing this stuff so you can see what it is. Steal the falling star, which uh, increases the damage of Kratos' death from above attacks, which I feel like is kind of useless, honestly. And you grab this bow apparently from the left side. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to Nina, push the boat back out and have American some more. man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. And that's it. There you go. That's how you fully complete this. Afterwards, you're actually going to have to go all the way back to the River Delta in order to get out of here. The actual Cliffside Ruins. But there you go. Hopefully I helped you out. That's how to complete Freya's missing piece in God of War Ragnarok.